Hi, I'm Mike Kojima, and I'm with MotoIQ.com, and today we're going to be talking about uh, engine buildup for an FA20. Uh, we're going to put in a Scion FRS. Uh, we're using this car for uh, kind of like street use, but it's going to be supercharged, but the uh, car is also going to see dual duty as a track day car and might even compete a little bit in some time attack. So we have to have good street ability, we can't have an oil burner, we can't have something that makes a lot of rattling noise, and uh, we have to have long service life. But it also has to be tough on the track, so we uh, selected JE FSR pistons for this build. Uh, the FSR is a really cool piston. It's a uh, strut type piston, so it doesn't have any uh, excess material around the uh, piston pins. But, um, you know, that's all cut away and it's for lightweight. A lot of times you have to be concerned with a strut type piston because the skirt gets really small and you get accelerated wear and a lot of noise. But the FSR uh, has a really good cam design, so um, it ends up being pretty quiet, even though it's a pretty aggressive piston as far as skirt profile. You know, we've run these pistons almost exclusively on many of our builds, and we've never had a problem with piston slap. The JE pistons don't do that, so you get the toughness of a race piston, but the quietness of a uh, regular OEM piston. The FA20 has some unusual requirements for connecting rods. It's a boxer engine, so it requires an offset main cap, and there's only a, maybe two rods on the market that have that, and uh, one of the best rods we felt was the Brian Crower rod. We were using the stock crank. The stock uh, crank is a really strong forged part. Um, we're not getting fancy. You know, we're not spinning the engine at super high RPM. So we just uh, got the stock crank, uh, micro polished it and uh, balanced it and deburred it a little bit and we're gonna be sticking that right back in. So there's a walkthrough of the Moto IQ FA20 build. If you're interested, we'll be doing this in several segments on Moto IQ. So come to www.motoiq.com and get all the details.